To give life, you must take life. And as our grief falls flat and hollow upon the billion blooded sea, I pass upon Sirius, inward breaking shoals, rimmed with white lead, white belly, rotting creatures lengthily dead, and rioting against surrounding scenes. Dear child, I only did to you what the sparrow did to you. I am old when it is fashionable to be young. I cry when it is fashionable to laugh. I hated you when it would have taken less courage to love. It takes a lot of desperation, dissatisfaction, and disillusion to write a few good poems. It's not for everybody either to write it or even to read it.
and pluck till time and times are done the silver apples of the moon and the silver apples and the golden apples of the sun. to me 
that something might perhaps be made of the question by carefully accumulating and reflecting on all sorts of facts that might make the matter true. After five years' work, I allowed myself to speculate on the subject, threw up some short notes, and these I enlarged into a sketch of conclusions, which then seemed to me to be probable. Of nose is like a trembling of a nervous breakdown, afflicted 
by voices. Is he hearing the deer? His feet, the power tools, lie in front of him. He doesn't know how to use them. Sudden dramatic lift and realignment of his purposeful body. The keeper has come to freshen the water. Quiet, amiable in his dogginess, disillusion, all that preparation souring in his skin. His every yawn is another dose of poison. His every frolic releases a whole flood of new hopelessness, which he then has to burn up in sleep. A million miles knotted in his paws, ten million years broken between his teeth. A world stinking on the bone, pecked by sparrows. He's hanging upside down on the wire of non-participation. He's a tarot card, and he knows it. He can howl all night, and Don will pick up the same card and see him painted on it, with eyes like door frames in a desert, between nothing and nothing. In considering the origin of species, it is quite conceivable that a naturalist, reflecting on the mutual affinities of organic beings, the embryological relations, the geographical distribution, and geographical succession, along with other facts, might come to the conclusion that each species had not been independently created, but had descended, like varieties, from other species. Nevertheless, such a conclusion even if well-founded, would be unsatisfactory until it could be shown how the innumerable species inhabiting the world have been modified so as to acquire that perfection of structure and call adaptation which most justly excites our admiration.
are lineal descendants of some other and generally extinct species, in the same manner as the acknowledged varieties of any one species are the descendants of that species. Furthermore, I am convinced that natural selection has been the main but not exclusive means of modification. Insult him a thousand miles distance, and his great carcass is stirred to anger. 